the winner of the $75,000 Gordon E. Moore Award in the category of Computer Science from Raniku Balseu, Romania. feedback to continue my projects. All of the time I made about 50 projects in my career and uh, I want to be an university researcher because the people who change the world are the university researcher are not the programmers or, or the, 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 the companies are just the, the people who make research, that publish the research and after that the companies are creating the projects based on their research. So I want to be a researcher, an university professor to make research to, to help the world to develop this is the purpose of the of the mankind to create some invention, to create some projects in order to and help the entire population, the entire the world. Even I'm from Romania, my project needs to be helpful for Africa, for US. It doesn't matter only for Romania. So we need to help the entire of the world through our projects, through our ideas, through our our mind. Over here, you can learn a lot of stuff that you cannot learn in your countries. I'm from Romania. We don't have the term for science fair. And for the t first time when I came here in 2010 in San Jose, I learned a lot of stuff about what is a science fair. Because in Romania, I didn't know what is a science fair. So it was amazing. My first experience as a freshman. But all of the time, I was just coming over here with my... Oh, I, I came here to learn all of the stuff. I, I, I went to a lot of projects. I'm from computer science one, but I went to chemistry, to microbiology, to see different projects, different ideas, maybe for my future projects. And I will try to, to finish and to, to make a... Uh, to, to, to contact the company and to make a project, I mean a product with the company like a car manufacturing and to, to, to make a very cheap self-driving car for everybody. My name is Ionuț Budistano. I'm from Romania. I'm 19 years old, and I live in Râmnicu Vâlcea from Romania. I'm trying to create a self-driving car, a very cheap one, you know, the Google self-driving car. The problem is that they use a very expensive high-resolution 3D radar that costs about $75,000. They use the 3D radar in order to recognize human people, vehicles, but also they use the 3D radar to recognize sidewalks, curves, and to recognize the limit of the street based on the 3D radar map. So I'm trying to use image processing and artificial intelligence to... Re to recognize as much as possible vehicle from images, lanes from images, uh, curbs, sidewalks from images, and to try to, to remove the 3D radar, and I, because I cannot, rem I cannot detect 100% of the vehicle from images, and using image processing, it has to be the small version of a 3D radar, but my 3D radar costs about 400 bucks. There are about 2.4 million people which die each year. 87 of those pe of the car accidents are done only by the human mistakes, and 70 percent of the car accidents are only made by the alcohol problems, by the alcohol. So about 50 million people are injured or disabled each year only because car accidents. 
for example, the 1.5 billion of gallons of fuel are lost in the traffic jams that are only made by the car accident. So self-driving car in the future will be very safe and will save a lot of environment and people, a lot of lives of people, millions of people, just in one year. more professional over there what is the what is the path of the car and uh, in a lot of in 47 of the my simulation of, with the detection with the 3d radar detection for the people because the resolution is very small and it wasn't able to recognize the people very far about 20 30 meters because uh, the, the self-driving car but they weren't able to, they weren't able to pattern why because there were about 40 different meters. No. 